Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 19. And today we're going to deal with while loops and range. A nice command range that's often used in uh, PHP. And what a range allows you to do is generate a sequence of numbers very rapidly. So it follows the low, high, and step. We're going to explain that when we get to the Eclipse and start running the programs. But just keep in mind that ranges will create an array and it'll give you a sequence of numbers. The next thing we're going to consider is while loops, and while loops uh, allow you to iterate through a sequence. So now we're starting to experience some of the power of PHP. The real heart of programming, of course, is iterating, and this allows you to do it automatically. The way a while loop is set up, almost like an if loop, you have an expression that you evaluate, and as long as that expression is true, you execute a statement. Now, that's something real quick. If you only have one statement, just like the if statement, you don't have to use the curly brackets to execute your code, bl code block. But if you have many statements in your code block, of course you want to use those curly brackets. I personally use curly brackets all the time to delineate my code block, just so it's human readable and I know what's going on all the time. So let's get to Eclipse and start talking about the code. So I'm in Eclipse PHP right now, and I'm in lesson number 19, video 19, while loop. And you'll click on that and make sure that is a uh, in your run configuration, so make sure you're pointing right to that. And when you're pointing to that, you can actually run the program. Let's get out of this for a moment and just show you the code real quick. First thing we do is work with that range statement. So I'm just going to take my range statement right here, shove it into an array, and then print that array to the screen using the print r command. Uh, basically, the way it works is the first number is what you're going to get, and the second number is that sequence. Now, the third, there's no third number here. If you had a third number here, that would be your step between the two numbers. But for this example, when it's left blank, it's going to step is going to be one. Let's run the code and see if it works. And indeed, I get an array where my key starts with zero and goes to nine, and my numbers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's my values. Okay, so that worked fine. Let's go to the next example. So in the next example, what I do want to do is I actually want to do a step. So I'm going to go ahead and comment this out using Control C or Shift Control C. And let's uncomment this code and see how we do step for a range. So shift control C to uncomment. And so in this case, I'm going to go between the numbers 0 and 100 with a step of 10. So once again, this is going to give me uh, only 11 numbers, but it starts with 0 and goes to 100. So it's going to be 0, 10, 20, 30, and so on. Let's go and run this and print it out to the screen and see what we get. So there you have it. You, you start with the key of 0, and your first number is 0. The next key is 1, and your value is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, all the way up to 100. So once again, that worked really nice. And so the range is a wonderful technique for just generating values uh, on the fly without, without actually having to throw them in a loop and iterate them to create those values. So many times we want to just create a range of numbers. So we're actually going to use that with our while loop. But well, let's just run a simple while loop example. So we'll comment that out. We'll go to the next block of code. Hit Control Shift C to uncomment. And now we're going to show you how a while loop works. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just declare some variable. And I got this example from PHP.net, and uh, Lynda.com does a very similar example as well. And so I'm going to set a count variable to zero. And I'm going to just put a condition in my while loop. And what I'm saying is while of the count is less than or equal to 10, this while loop is going to execute continually. Now you have to be careful about while loops because you can actually uh, put a condition in there uh, and create an infinite loop. And you never want an infinite loop because they'll just keep counting as long as that condition is uh, you know, not satisfied. So I'm going to echo that count, that number to the screen, and, put a and I'm concatenating a little uh, comma next to it so it'll separate my numbers. And I'm just iterating it every time. So basically let's follow the flow one, one more time. What I do is I declare a variable. I have a conditional expression, and if it's not met, it continues to iterate. And then I echo that value out to the screen, and I increment that count by 1. And once again, it compares to see if that condition is met. And when that, when that condition is met, when it is less than or equal to 10, it will iterate one more time, so I'll get one extra iteration. So just keep that in mind. So let's go and run this program and see what happens. And indeed, what I do is I, I start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And when I get to 10, the iteration stops. So the condition's been met, and it no longer iterates. 
Okay, let's take a look at something that's very important here. Is I have a problem. I have this little comma right here. I don't want that comma to be at the end. It doesn't look very nice. So I want to remove that. I can do that using an if statement. So let's go ahead and put an if statement and then remove that comment. So you can run functions within your while loop and everything. Of course, that's the whole point, right? What I want to happen is when I get to the very last number, I don't want to print out that comma. So the way I do that, just put a little if statement in here. And I'm just going to copy this again. So I have my control, alt key, and shift down. So I have two of these now. And one of these, I'm just going to remove this comma. So I'm not concatenating a comma on the end of it anymore. Make sure I put my semicolon in there. I'll get an error. So I want to put an if statement in there. And the statement goes like this. If, if this uh, particular value, count, is less than 10, not less than or equal to 10, let's copy that. So then I want to print out this piece where I'm concatenating. And then that will take me all the way to the number 9. But when I get to the number 10, okay, then I want to actually just print out the single count without the comma. So I'll use my if else. So I use if else statements a lot. This is actually a great example of where you might use one. And let's go ahead and save this and run this code and see if it works. And now I'm printing out my numbers, you see that, without the comma at the end. So that's how you use a while loop and an if loop in conjunction. Now let's go ahead and use our uh, range. What I want to do is not just print out 1 through 10. Maybe I want to print out 0 through 100 in steps of 10. So I can use the range to do that. So let's comment this out. And now let's uncomment this code. This is the last part of our uh, lesson today. Hit Control, Shift, C to get rid of that. And what we're going to do here, we're actually going to use our while loop. Once again, stepping through 11 values, believe it or not, because you get that last iteration right here. And uh, what we're going to do is basically do the same thing, but now we're going to use a range. So let me go ahead and put a range statement in there. So I'll come up here and copy this range right here. We worked with it, the second example in this uh, course. It was the second example in this tutorial. And I'm going to create a range value right here. So what this range command is going to do, it's going to start at 0 and go to 100 in steps of 10. All right. So my new array is my array. So basically what I'm going to echo out is my array uh, with the index value of count. So count's going to go through 0, 1, through 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and pretty much it's going to just print out the array values as it steps through that number. And once again, I have that if statement in there, so the very last one doesn't receive a comment. So it's going to run this program and see if it works. And there you have it, 0 through 100 without that comma at the end. And you know, that's pretty much all there is to while loops. We'll be using them. I actually like the for loop a lot more. And we'll be looking at that next time. Let's just review quickly what we did. In this particular lesson, we learned how to use the range method. And we learned how to step in increments. We also learned how to create a while loop and learned about iterations and warned you about creating infinite loops. So watch your conditional and mention that you actually do get one more iteration than your actual count. Now, if you want not to have that extra iteration, this changes less than the equal sign to just less than sign. And so finally, what we did, we uh, used our range method to print out a, a list of numbers from 0 to 100. And that's all there is to a while loop. And next time, we're going to hit the for loop. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively. I'll see you next time.